11c on perimeter on page 631 of your textbook. Last lesson we'll look at exercise 11b, which is on the metric system, which is better than the Imperial better than the imperial system, absolutely. So we're going to be converting between units of the metric system in this particular situation. We're going to be converting into meters. So for kilometers to meters, what conversion do I have to do to get from kilometers into meters? Lucas. Um, you have to, you have to do, um, you have to tag the forms just by a thousand. Good. So we know the first things first, that there's a thousand meters in a kilometer. So I'm doing something with a thousand. But I also know because meters is a smaller unit, I need more of them. So I get two kilometers and I multiply by 1,000 to get meters. Do I leave my answer there? No. No, what do I do with it, Lucas? Um, you work out the answer as two, Good. As two times a thousand equals 2,000. Perfect. So we write 2,000 meters. We don't just write two times 1,000 meters. Good work, Lucas. Next one, 3,400 millimeters in meters now Brody would I just jump from millimeters to meters no. why not what's the unit in the middle between millimeters and meters oh. it's that's right no need to panic it's good we need to get to centimeters first so let's focus on centimeters how many millimeters in a centimeter yeah go for it oh. How many millimeters in a centimeter? It's 10, right? It's 10. So what we do is we, because we're trying to get to a larger unit, we need less of them. So we divide it by 10. So I know that 3,400 divided by 10 is it in centimeters, which gives me 3,000 and sorry, 340 centimeters. Am I done? Why not? Lucas. Good, I need to make sure I get it into the final unit in the bracket. Absolutely. So remember, there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So we divide it by 100, and we end up with 3.4 meters. Awesome. Any questions about that? Would you like to inter interject? <coughs> I'm literally just killing time waiting for my year 12 to turn up for their exam. Too easy. Let's continue then. Any questions so far? We're happy to continue. Awesome. All right. So these are the notes for today's exercise 11C. Can I get you guys writing down the first sentence for me? Thank you very much. Just that quick equation at the top. Perimeter equals distance around the outside of a 2D shape. Now you guys, some of you guys already did this in primary school, but this is going to be some more difficult application style of perimeter. So perimeter equals the distance around the outside of a 2D shape. What's 2D mean? 2D. Xavier. Two Good, two dimension. What's a dimension? Um, oh, that's a hard question, isn't it? Now, once again, I'm jumping through a few hoops, but I think I feel like you guys would appreciate me going a little bit into this. So, give me an example, Xavier, of a very, very basic 2D shape. Um, a square. I like it, square. That's actually the one I wanted you to say, so thank you. So, a square. I'm going to draw a square. Now, how do we know it's in two dimensions? Because it goes... Yeah? It goes up, down, left, right. Yeah. Yeah? Just like the trackpad on a video game controller, it goes up, down, left, right. Uh, what's a 3D shape? What's the 3D version of this square? It's a cube. It is a cube. Three Absolutely. Three because... Absolutely. Now, we know this is 3D because it not only does it go up, down, left, right, like the 2D shape, so it doesn't just go up, down left right it also goes forwards and backwards doesn't it that's how we know it's 3d what if what if you take a step back we know that that's 2d we know that this is 3d what's 1d brody it's just a line it is just a line how do you know that it's, it's one side. exactly instead of going up down left right it's just up down or it's just left right what's 0d Do you want to give it a go, Brody? It Close. It's not quite blank. It's a dot. It is just a dot. There we go. It's just a dot. Because the dot doesn't go up, down. It doesn't go left, right. It doesn't go anywhere. It's just a dot. 
Now here's the difficult question. <clears throat> what does a four-dimensional shape look like? Um, you want to give it another go? It's like a square inside a square. Okay, I like it. So what mathematicians theorize is that a fourth dimensional cube looks a bit like this. And I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to draw it very well, so try your best to interpret what I'm drawing here. There we go. This is what we call in mathematics a hypercube or a tesseract. Some of you guys might have heard it in uh, Marvel movies. Yeah. Uh, hypercube, fourth dimension is what we theorize. Uh, and it's constantly moving. It's very, very weird. Uh, but I just thought it'd be interesting to know. Specifically with perimeter, we're focusing on this two-dimensional shape here. Well, not this particular one. It could be a circle, it could be whatever it is. But it only goes up, down, left, right. And so perimeter is the distance around that two-dimensional shape. Later on, we'll, learn, we'll work with three-dimensional shapes. But for now, we're sticking with this two-dimensional shape. Question? Is this circle? Well, what about a circle? So a circle, good question. So a circle, it still only goes up and down, left and right on the plane. So imagine if I have, for example, a little dot that goes around it. Imagine it's doing this, right? It's still going technically up, down, left, or right in one of those directions. It's on a flat surface, yeah? Whereas in three dimension, we bring that surface up and it's multiple, think of it as layers of a cake. Yes, Servia? What if the dot still technically has like two dimensions? If it's like, because it's still got some. Yeah, I, I know what you're saying, and this is getting extremely complex, but the dot is theoretical. Right? It doesn't actually exist, right? But it's just there to explain that it doesn't go up, down, left, or right. Awesome. Let's get back. Let's bring it back to Year Seven Maths before we jump into, uh, you know, university level mathematics. And let's focus on the next two dot points I've written here. Sides with the same markings are of equal length. Sides with the same markings are equal length. What do I mean by that? I mean if you've been given a shape, and for example, you can see here those two markings are the same, that means that the length is the same. So the textbook won't say it, the questions won't say it, but you know that the lengths are the same. If they are different markings, so for example, if this one had two and this one had three, then they're no longer the same. So only ones with the same marking are of equal length. One last thing before we continue on to today's questions, is that unknown sign lengths can sometimes be found using the lengths of other sides. So if you don't know the lengths of some sides, we can sometimes calculate the length based on the other sides. Okay. So for example, if I give you a square, and I tell you what, what, what one side length is, since it's a square, you guys know it's all the same. So that's how we would work it out. So this is just an example of perimeter. And we'll go through an example together in a moment, but I want you to, what I want you to take note of is that we've written out each individual measurement. So you can see here, 1.6 plus 1.6 again, because the same markings means the same length. And we add 2.8 and add 4.1, which gives us an answer of 10.1 centimeters. So we add the different side lengths together to get the perimeter. The example I like to give is, and this is definitely foreshadowing, by the way, uh, how, how much, what length of a fence do you need to go around a farm, for example? Okay. All right. So here's a little bit of a thought experiment. I've given you this diagram over here. I've got this shape. It's a very weird shape. Assuming this diagram includes only 90 degree angles, so right angles, do you guys feel like there's enough information to find the perimeter of the shape? Hands up if you think yes. Hands up if you think no. Hands up if you didn't put your hand up. Great, thank you for being honest. Alright, so for this one, uh -huh. this is my way of trying to get you to think about finding unknown side lengths without actually being given side lengths. Yes? Oh, wait, never mind. No? Okay. So my question is, we know the side length of this one. What is that side length? 10. It's 10 centimeters because we know it's the same as this one, right? If I walk from this side of the room, I walk along that, up, up until that corner behind Henry, and then I walk all the way to Noah, behind Noah, that corner right there. Is that the same distance as if I stand here, 
And I just realized this is not a rectangular classroom. <laughs> Let's pretend it's a rectangular classroom. And I walk to that corner, and then I walk behind them. I walk to the corner behind them. Is that the same distance? Yes. It is the same distance. Right. So in this situation, even though we don't know the individual lengths here, would you guys agree that all of these red lines should equal to 10? Yes. Yeah? Because it's the same length as this one here, right? Just like move down, staggered. Yeah. And would you agree that this length here, the green ones, yeah. are also 10? Yeah. So what would be the perimeter of this shape? 10, 40 centimeters. It would be 40 centimeters. Or 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. Um, yes, question. I remember where I could think I was walking here. Because you know it's a side length of 10 centimeters, mm -hmm. you could, for both of those, you could use a ruler to work out how long each of those individual segments were. You could, yeah. but not all diagrams are to scale, so that's an important thing. Uh, so a lot of the time, you'll think, why don't I just use a ruler to measure this? It's not, a lot of time it's not to scale, which I, means that one side might be 10 centimeters, but it might say 11.3 centimeters, which isn't going to be very helpful. Yeah. Alright, let's jump into an example. I've got two examples here. I'll go through them very quickly. So, we're finding the perimeter of this shape here. I've got a three-sided shape, a triangle. Um, Xavier, what information are they giving me that isn't explicitly written there? Um, Anything to do with the side length that we don't know? The, the other side is five Good, five centimeters. All right, sweet. Am I done? I'm happy with that. Am I done? Um, you just... One second. Xavier, am I done? Um... I'm not done, right? I need to find the perimeter itself, don't I? Yes. yes. Lucas, how do I do that? Okay, uh, this is perimeter. You mm -hmm. add the side lengths together. Good. 5 plus 5 plus 3 equals 13. Absolutely. 5 plus 5 plus 3 equals the 13. And so is my perimeter 13? Yes. <clears throat> is my perimeter just 13? Uh, 13 centimeters. 13 centimeters, thank you very much. All right, awesome. Henry, can you walk me through this second question? What's the what's the side length that I don't know? Good. How do I find that? Good. I don't know that side length there. I can add the top two together. These two, right? Which would give me eight meters. Are there any other sides we don't know? The thingy bobby is that this one? That's correct. This thingy bobby right here. How do we find that <coughs> distance there from here? Oops, not that one there. From here down to there. How do I find that one? Farah, any ideas? Anything to do with the sides? So I know that this whole thing here is 6 meters, don't I? Henry? Good. If I know that whole side is 6, and this side here is 2, well, what's that one have to be? has to be 4, right? Because they add up together. So now I have all the side lengths, I can just add them together. So I'm going to go ahead and write, and I'm starting this side, I go this way. You can write it in any order you want. 6 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 2 plus 8. Now I'm going to do some quick math and I'm just going to add them together. That's 9, 13, uh, 18, 20, 28. Am I done? 28. Centimeter. Meters. Meters. Meters, thank you very much. We need to make sure we double check which unit the question is giving us. Awesome, that's all the content for today's, uh, today's exercise. Any questions before I end the recording? 16. Sweet.